By now, you've probably heard about the pricing table element in Thrive Architect. Well, in this video, we're going to have a look at a few templates that were added for this element. And also, I'm going to talk about a few things that you should know when using the pricing table element on your website. But first, let's have a look at these new templates. So now that you've seen the new templates, let me share with you a few things that you should know about the pricing table element. Now, as you know, Thrive Architect comes with a set of landing pages and each pricing table template matches a certain landing page in Thrive Architect. Let me show you how that works. So here we have the so-called Atomic 2 landing page. And on this page, we're gonna add a pricing table. Now, in our case, we're gonna remove this button here and this is the exact place where we're going to add the landing page so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down on the sidebar and we're going to drag the pricing table element right here now this is the default template right we're going to change it from the sidebar by clicking on change template now these are just a few of the new templates that were added for the pricing table and what we're going to do is we're going to look for the exact name that the landing page has which is atomic 2 so we can find it here and we're simply going to add it to the page and right off the bat as you can see this template matches the overall design language of the landing page it basically has the same font and it also has the same color scheme and this basically saves you a lot of time from building a certain pricing table from scratch and then ma then matching it to your landing page right and basically you can do this with any landing page and any pricing table template you choose the landing page and then you choose the matching pricing table template for it now after you have added the pricing table on the page it is important to know how to use the instance option let me show you how that works so the instance option consists of these buttons here that are placed on top of the pricing table these buttons basically allow you to have multiple states for a pricing table so for example if your products can be bought both by a monthly payment or a yearly payment, then you can place them on these buttons, right? One button can be for your monthly payment to see how the prices will look for your products on a monthly payment. And then the second button can show the prices for the yearly payment. In order to customize the instances, you have to go on the sidebar. And for now, as you can see, instance one is selected. In order to customize it, we'll click on this pencil icon and we can name it to something like monthly, as you can see. And to customize the second instance, we can click on instance two and we can name it yearly, right? As you can see now, when the user will click on one of those, you can basically change the pricing table so that it changes with the button as well. Let me show you how that works. For example, for yearly, we're gonna modify the prices, right? Instead of 34, we can add something like 50, and instead of 54, we can add something like 70, right? And let me show you how this works on preview, right? We're gonna save the page, and now we're gonna preview it. So here we are on this page and if we scroll down, as you can see now monthly is selected and if the user would click on yearly, as you can see, the prices will change. So you can basically have more states for your pricing table this way. Now, if you wanna add more instances, you can do that from the editor, right? You have this option here called add new instance, right? You give it a name, right? Something like extra and you can have more buttons on the top of the pricing table. Now, one last thing that I wanna share with you is how to have more columns or less columns on the pricing table because the default pricing table has three columns, but maybe you wanna have two columns 
or four columns or multiple columns on the pricing table. So the way to do this is you click on the pricing table and here on the sidebar, you will have this section called price boxes, right? In order to add a new one, right? For example, we want to have four boxes, right? We can either click on add new, right? As simple as that. And we can call it something like gold, right? Or if you don't want to waste time customizing it all over again, you can remove it and you can simply duplicate another existing box. So in our case, let's see that we want to duplicate the premium one, as you can see, and this here, we can call it gold. Now, in order for it to not look this cramped, we can change the gutter width for the pricing table, as you can see, as much as it allows you to do this basically. And you can go ahead and customize that new box further. Right, for example, this gold box that we have just added, if we click on the content box and then we go to background style, we can add maybe a gradient here and customize it further. So maybe on one side, we can add a color, something like this and we'll minimize the opacity a bit, something like this. And on the other side, we're going to minimize the opacity as well. And we can maybe change the price to something like this. And very easily we have a four column layout on the pricing table. Now in the same way, if we want to have two columns, for example, we can go back on the pricing table, right? And go on pricing table option, and we can remove two of the boxes. And as you can see, now we have a two column layout for the pricing table. You can then customize by adjusting the gutter width further, as you can see, and you can basically make it fit the look and feel of your own ideal design for the pricing table. Now, this concludes the tutorial about the new templates and a few of the features for the pricing table element. Now, before I go, I also want to announce that we'll be making a pricing table from scratch video, where we'll basically take a pricing table from a certain website and we will build it with Rive Architect from nothing basically, but we need your help for this. So in the blog post below this video, I have placed three pricing table examples and you can leave us a comment with which one of those three is your favorite and which of those templates you would like to see us build with Thrive Architect. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.